Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of important places to go on the back end of your website. But before I do that, I just wanted to mention that I do have a course online covering uh, Wix Studio. It's called Mastering Wix Studio. So I'll link to that course in the comments, and it's just a step by step on how to build Wix Studio websites from scratch. Okay, so over here on the left hand side, one of the most important places you're going to want to look at is the settings, this little gear. This is where everything is going to be housed, a lot of the important stuff. So you have your booking settings, SEO settings, this is where you can set up your payment methods. Uh, you have your checkout, your tax, your domain. So a lot of the things live here in the settings. And as you scroll down, there's even more fields down here. So I just want to highlight a couple of these in this video today. So the first thing is, is this website settings here is really important. So this is where you are able to name your website. It's also where you're able to add your favicon. And if you don't know, the favicon is the little icon up here. So like this is the Wix Studio favicon for this website. Since it's a soccer website, it's a soccer ball. You do have to be on a premium plan to add your favicon. Um, so you would just go in here and update this image and then you'll get your favicon to show. The other important thing here is the general social image. So when you share your website link to social media, this is the image that will come up. So this is a really important place to set up. And then another uh, important place is the marketing integrations. So if you want to add any additional tracking like Google Analytics or a pixel for your Facebook ads, your Metapixel, um, or Google Tag Manager where you can put your own snippets and scripts uh, and publish them to Google Tag Manager. There's a lot of different integrations here that Wix has already built for you, so you just have to follow the steps. And there's also some third-party integrations that you can use. The one that I use the most is Google Analytics, and then I also do Google Tag Manager because once you have Tag Manager installed, you can publish as many scripts uh, and snippets as you want into your website, code snippets. So if you do want to add custom code, that's over here. And you can add your own code snippets here. You can name them and configure how they load and which pages they load on. So you can add them in the head, uh, the head tags of your website or the body tags of your website. So those are two other important places. Another one that I want to highlight is this privacy and cookies. So if you want to set up a cookie consent banner, uh, you would do that here. There's information about privacy policies and how to add a do not sell data link, which helps you comply with the CCPA. So there's a whole section dedicated to this and you can find a lot of good resources here and set up that cookie consent banner. And it will allow you to manage your data in case you need to copy or share or delete someone's data permanently. All of that's in here for you to manage that. Okay, and then the other place is just this business info. I think it's always good to set this up. So you just put the name of your site, the logo, the business address, and the phone number and email. So that's also another good place to look. You can add uh, multiple locations if you have multiple locations so I think it's just good to always fill those um, that information out and then lastly this is a big one here the roles and permissions this is how you invite users to your website or if you're building websites for clients this is how you eventually invite them to uh, come to your website to be a user so you you can select the different roles that they have so there's admin, co-owner, there's a bunch of different roles in here. If you need a custom role, you can create one and then select the roles that you, permissions that you want for that role. And once you have collaborators in here, they'll be displayed here. It will show you who the website owner is. If you need to transfer ownership to another person, you would just click change owner. And once they're in here, you can select them and transfer the site over to them. So there's a lot of other information that we did not cover in this section here, but this settings section is so important. It's where so many things live. Uh, your domain name, your booking settings, if you're using that, uh, SEO settings, your invoices and quotes, all, all of this can be found here in the settings tab. 
And depending on what you're trying to do, it's going to be different for each of these sections, how you go in and edit them. So I just wanted to highlight a couple of them that I feel like I use quite often. Um, so uh, hopefully that's been helpful. And if you're wondering uh, where to do something, I always recommend just typing in the search bar. So for example, let's say I was trying to find accept payments, but I couldn't find it. If I was on this home tab, I didn't know to check the settings. This search bar will help you find things a lot faster. So if I click in here, it's going to jump me to the right place and then I can find accept payments. All right. I hope that helps and I will see you guys in the next video.